Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product that is King Kony D08. Uh, this is I2C external module and it's used by the 8 channel relay output. Last video I have explained the GI8, that is 8 channel digital input external module. So in this video I will show this I2C external board, uh, the hardware details and how it works with the ESP Home in Home Assistant. Okay, let's look at this hardware details. Firstly, okay, let's look at this DO8. Uh, the DO8, you can see this appearance. Uh, this is the back and this is in front. And also, the part installed on the ding rail. You can see uh, that is very easy to install on the ding rail. So, you can install to a power distribution box. And uh, this box also have a cover that's made by aluminium. So you can see, uh, we have print all labels on this cover. And let's look at how you can use the lazy print uh, to print the label. Okay, after you can see the uh, words how to print on the cover, and let's look at this PCB board. This is a PCB design. You can see uh, this have LED indicate, and this is relay, eight channel relay. And every channel relay, you can see that max support 10 ampere with 277 AC voltage, and this is enough for your load to use. So this have 8 channel, the relay output is dry contact because every relay will have calm, normal open and normal close. So this terminal you can see also is removable so will be easy to connect with your wire. And this side you can see uh, this is LED indicate for every relay state uh, that will be on, turn red and also we have designed this menu control button. You can see uh, this is metal high quality switch. So if you have not connect with the ESP module and you, you have not connect with your CPU and this part also can turn on and turn off control this really directly because it's physical. So without software, without firmware, just use this control this relay directly. And you can see here that is the power supply, the DC positive and the negative is ground and the SDA and SCL is I square C bus pin define. And this have a DIP switch that have A0, A1, A2. So this have three bits to set the I square C address. So you will max have eight address for every different board. So you, maybe you have the first board, and the second board, and the third board. So you can just change this switch, uh, set the different address for different board. Okay, uh, so this is the chip. Uh, this is I2C chip we have used. That is PCF8574. So this can use for input and use for output, uh, just this time. And this board we have used for the output because that is DO8, uh, that means the digital output. Okay, this is the back of the PCB board design, and this is in front. And next, I will show you how it connect with your ESP board. Uh, maybe you have used the ESP32, so you can connect with these two board together, and how it works by the ESP home. 
And you can see this, I will click only a eight bar. A eight bar have eight channel relay, but if you have not enough for your project, so we can extend this DO8, let this eight channel relay and this eight channel relay work together. So you will totally have 16 channel relay output uh, for this whole system. And uh, you can see this is SDA and SCL and ground and uh, three volt. I have used this three cable. In last video, I have showed why I have connected this three cable. So you just can connect with this two terminal, uh, this SDA and to this SDA, and this SCL uh, to this SCL, and this is ground and this is ground, and this is the voltage. You can see that power voltage support from 9 to 24 volt DC. So this is only 3 volt. I will connect to this terminal and to this red is uh, from this 12 power supply, just 12 volt. So I will connect with the 4 wire to this terminal. So you can see I can remove this terminal and connect with this terminal I have already connected with the wire. Just let this board together and you can see uh, you can see I uh, just I have used these two board connect together. So this is the main board for ESP32 and this external board I square the external board and maybe you have the second so you will have totally 24 channel relay output if you have this whole system and this video I just show a demo for how to connect with one external DO8 board so you can see I can power on just connect with this 12 volt and this red LED is on and this is on and now I have not downloaded the firmware, so the software is not working. So, but this time you can see, I can also use this menu country button. Just use this uh, button very easily. You can see, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on. So this eight channel all is on. Just only use this module, give this power supply, so this switch will be work. So this will be very easy for many country button if your system bad, if your home system bad. So you can also use this many country button. Okay. Now the next we will use the ESP home uh, to configure it and uh, control by the home assistant in web browser. Okay, let's uh, back to my computer and you can see this is web page about DO8. The DO8 board also is an open source board. Uh, the hardware is open and the software is open. So you can see this is schematic uh, for DO8. I can click and you will see this PDF file uh, for this schematic. All details, hardware details, you can check it here and back. And uh, the part you can integrate to Home Assistant by ESP Home. So we have write this YAML file for ESP Home. So you can just copy this code and directly to use. And you just need to change the address, I square C address. So you can see, uh, you can change this address uh, according to this A0, A1, A2 address. You can see that the button, how you set to 0 or set to 1, just uh, will have the different address. And also you need to define the SDE and the SCL of the ESP module. And back. And you will see here I also have Arduino source code. Uh, you can easily use your Arduino IDE to uh, control this relay. Uh, here is source code. And uh, this is the chip Arduino library. You can download and uh, directly to comply. Okay, the next we can see this is the Home Assistant dashboard. I have installed the ESP Home in my Windows computer. So you can see I can click edit. And uh, it's very easy, just I have used the Wi-Fi connect with my A8 board. So you can see I have de defined the I2C pin define, and this is uh, I2C chip address. Uh, this is for A8, uh, A8 board as a relay, and this is for DO8 relay. So 
This address will scan by the ESP home. And you can see this is output one, output two, just uh, some different uh, switch. And until output eight, uh, the eight channel is uh, a eight bar relay switch. And from the nine, 10 until 16, that is uh, DO8, the second chip. And we have enabled the web service. Okay, we can click save and click install and uh, connect your USB cable to compute. And uh, I downloaded the firmware by the USB cable. So you can connect it here. And now you can click USB and we'll detect the server part and begin compare and uh, download the firmware to ESP32. Okay, you can see that have scanned the I2C device and you can see uh, that have all detect. Uh, that is scanned I2C address, you can see uh, 22 and 24 and 27. 27 is the DO eight part because I have set one one one. And uh, this two address is from the A8 part, the digital output and the digital input because there are two chips of PCF8574. And uh, we can see that have connected with my load uh, by this IP address. So I can copy this IP address in my web browser because we can already see this web page. You can see uh, from this 1 to 16 channel, you can see turn on and turn off. Turn on and turn off. This is relay 1 and this is relay 8. You can see that is the A8 board. And now we can see the output 9. I can click it and you will see the DO8 board is working. So you can see uh, this is relay 1. Just the switch 9 is really 1. And if we turn on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And now you can see uh, this all have working, this relay. And we can turn all off. And also, if you don't want to use the home assistant, you can use this switch button directly. So you can see, also you can control it by this way. Uh, this board not have the menu control button, but this DO8 we have designed as this menu control button on the PCB. So you will be very easy to turn on and turn off uh, this module. Okay, this is how to use the DO8 module to extend your GPIO uh, for your ESP32 mode. Okay, thanks for watching.